Hello, this is Dr. Rosenberger from Appalachian Spring Dermatology, and today I'm the patient. One of the procedures that we do here in the office is a procedure called photodynamic therapy. It's a procedure that's used for multiple indications, including acne and rosacea, but it's covered by insurance for actinic keratoses or precancer spots. I have a little bit of rosacea, as you can see from the redness of my face today, as well as have had a lot of sun damage so and have had precancer spots and a skin cancer before. So I actually like to do this procedure to myself at least once a year and try to reduce the amount of damage that I have and reduce the number of precancer spots that are coming up as well as help with my rosacea. So traditionally, um, there's been one product that's been approved for this procedure. It's called Levulon. It comes in a box like this. There are actually six sticks in the box, and I'm going to open it up for you and show you what they look like. So they're actually sort of one of those sticks that you crush, sort of like an old-fashioned light stick. So this is how they come. So traditionally, this is what we have used, um, and with it, you crush it, you paint it all over the face. But today we're trying out a new product, so those who know me know that when something new comes out, I usually try it out on myself before I try it on patients. So today we're trying out a new one called Amaloose. Um, it's just a new product that's been approved um, for this use. So we're going to use the Amaloose today. Um, it actually comes in a gel in a tube, and Chris is going to apply that to my face. So once it's applied, we actually leave it on for at least 45 minutes to incubate. And after it's incubated, then I will sit in front of the uh, blue light, which I think is behind me, um, and we can show a little bit of that a little bit later. So for now, we'll put the solution on my face. So prior to applying the solution, um, we I cleaned my face and uh, made sure that I didn't have anything left on it. When I see patients at office, I also usually wipe them off with a little bit of alcohol and acetone to make sure that there are no oils at all left on the face because you want to make sure that it penetrates very evenly. Um, and so the same with both Amaloose and the Levulon for that. Um, so this, the solution, or in this case the gel, is applied and we leave it there to incubate. It's preferentially absorbed in the case of um, acne and rosacea by oil glands and for the case of actinic keratosis by the abnormal or precancerous cells. So we leave it incubate and then after the incubation period we sit in front of the lights. Again the fancy name for this procedure is photodynamic therapy. And you can find more information about it on our website which is wvderm.com. So the difficult thing, if there is something difficult about this procedure, is that we are extremely sensitive to light after the um, procedure has been done. So when patients have this procedure done, they will need to stay indoors strictly, other than to and from a car if possible, um, for at least 24 hours. Um, if anybody has ever had a sunburn before, um, you know, after you have a sunburn, if you go back outside the next day and the sun hits your sunburned skin, it has a very uncomfortable, warm feeling. That's what it feels like when you go outside with, on the day after this procedure. I know because I tried it one time. It was winter and it was snow on the ground and I needed to shovel some snow. So I thought, ah, I can go out and do that. I very quickly realized, no, I need to go back inside. Um, so we apply sunscreen and try to stay indoors as much as possible for the first 24 to 48 hours. The sunscreen we need to apply is one with zinc or titania as the active ingredient because we need to block all light, not just um, UVA and UVB. Um, and we need to apply sunscreen every two hours while awake for the first 24 hours to 48 hours. I usually do 36 for most of my patients. You got it all on there? Yeah. Good. Little, another little drop here. Okay. Um, use it all up. <laughs> um, and so we do apply sunscreen for patients before they leave the office. If they don't have it at home, we sell a number of sunscreens that are appropriate for this procedure in the spring boutique. And um, we recommend, again, this applied every two hours while awake. 
And again, that's unless you're in a pitch dark room because the solution can be um, illuminated and activated not just by UV light but by exterior light as well as light from computer screens and TV screens. One of the things we were trying to emphasize more with our patients is that blue light from those screens can activate the solution just like the blue light in the machine that we use. So we want to pay attention to the amount of light that you're getting and apply the sunscreen. So that's all for now. Um, we'll be back to put me under the light in about 45 minutes. All right, so I've been sitting for 45 minutes with the solution on my face. Again, today we're using Ambulose, but we can use Love Me Lawn as well. And now we're going to, I'm going to sit in front of the light, the blue U light, for 16 minutes and 15 seconds. Don't ask me why that's the amount of time. That's just what they have it set for. So all the time when we do these treatments with a blue U, that's the standard timing. So Chris is going to pull this back, and we're going to turn it on and get started. Call for an appointment today and learn more by going to our website at wvderm.com.